The big idea here is that we use the first ever fully reusable balloons. They're zero emission systems, so they replace fuel burning aircraft and chemical burning rockets uh, to capture very high resolution, but extremely low cost remote sensing data about the planet. So for us, that really is about being able to manage the planet better by providing more data more frequently at a lower price. And this underlying technology is really what enables that new data product for customers. But the big idea, very long-term for the company is, again, it comes back to reusability and low cost access to the stratosphere. That will open up new applications that go far beyond just remote sensing. You can think of things like remotely deploying radios over disaster scenarios if you be able to provide cell coverage rapidly. That's another thing that these balloon systems and this platform that we're building will do. So long-term, in much the same way that SpaceX really opened up access to space, we're opening up low-cost access to the stratospheric environment. The balloons, they're some of the smallest zero-pressure balloons ever made. They're the smallest zero-pressure balloons ever made, and they're the only reusable stratospheric balloons in the world. As far as we know, they're the only stratospheric balloons that have ever been reused. What's unique about the data products we provide, uh, they're very high-resolution products when compared to satellites, but they have satellite-like coverage areas. So our swath width, the sort of uh, area that we're able to cover with a single balloon is similar to what a satellite could, could capture, but uh, at resolutions that are similar to what aircraft can cover. The path that we've had to take to get here and the failures we've experienced and, and how we think about innovation, um, we have gone through an enormous number of failures in trying to develop this system and our really driving force is we want to commercialize the stratosphere. It's what we've been doing for our whole careers is working in the stratosphere uh, and, and we're huge believers in data and the power of data and that the more information we have about our planet the better we can manage our planet and that is sort of the underlying drive that uh, makes it worth it to you know, try a, to develop a system and have it fail five times in a row and get up the next day and try, try a sixth time that, that where the system may work.